Happy Red Friday, Low VA Rates Nation. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Friday afternoon. Tim's filling in for Eric because he's uh, enjoying life and a little bit of vacation on a Friday afternoon. So thanks for hanging out with me. Today's topic is VA loans and cosigners. So VA has got some unique things about what cosigners can do on a VA loan. So the VA loan is primarily created for a married couple. You have to be married to be the spouse acts as the co-signer on this loan in a sense. Now, you can do a loan where you have a vet and somebody that is unmarried with them on the loan. So for example, remember I came from the great state of Nebraska, oh, by the way, go Husker Nation tomorrow, we got Illinois State at home, hoorah. If you had a $100,000 loan that you wanted to buy, VA has a 25% guarantee on there, so that's $25,000. Oops. But in this instance, you have a veteran and they're not married to the person that wants to buy the home with them. So in a sense, you have $12,500, $12,500. If we cut that $25,000 in half, part of this would be from the VA to the veteran, and the other part of that would be a cash contribution to the loan from our unmarried participant in the loan transaction. That's one possibility. There is another one that you can do because remember the VA has got lots of interesting ways to put veterans into VA home loans. For example, you can have two veterans buy a house together that may or may not be married. When you do that, it's called a split entitlement loan, which means we're going to use that 12500 in the example over there for one veteran and 12500 for the other veteran. Now please remember, if you're going to do a loan like that, it's going to require some extra time because we here at low VA rates, we're going to do all of your paperwork, make sure that that house is a safe, sound, and sanitary home for you, and that you're going to be able to afford the payment at the end, and then we're going to take all of that information and send it to the VA Regional Loan Center for the area of the country. So for example, if you're buying a home here in Utah, it would go over to Colorado so the VA underwriters can underwrite it at the same time. If you do that, please allow for an extra maybe two or three weeks because it's going to take in some extra time to get the loan done. So one of the things, remember, we can do it primarily for a married couple. If you have an unmarried person in there, they have to bring in that, on our example, 12.5% or $12,500 on a $100,000 loan to make sure that they cover their part of the guarantee. Or if it's veteran to veteran, and that could be two unmarried single people, it could be a veteran and their veteran father that want to buy a loan. I've done transactions like that. Or it could be an example where a mother and a veteran, son or daughter, buy a house together. I've seen all kinds of things. So again, making sure you're using those hard-earned VA benefits and you structure the loan the right way. So you purchase a home that's safe, sound, and sanitary, and the VA can help you with that. One of the other things today, uh, today is National POW and MIA Recognition Day. Big shout out to the individuals at JSOC there in Pearl Harbor that go to battlefields from Korea, Vietnam, World War II to recover the remains of our military and still today they're always identifying someone that's been lost on foreign soil. So we appreciate that, all the good work that they do. Janiel, have we got any questions from off-site today? Uh, we have one person wanting to know if this is legit. Uh, yes, if you would like